Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will show you the limitation part of a bar chart. So what limitation is, let's say for example, if you want to display only top 10 customer or you want to display values which are above, let's say 5 million. So in that case, only one value will be displayed. So let's create first a relevant bar chart and then see it in action. So we are already in edit mode as you can see and uh, let me just delete this i just press the delete button and let me go into the chart and i'm having this bar chart over here i will add the dimension so i will add a dimension which will have a lot of value so for example um, product name maybe so product name and i will add a measure which is sales or sum of sales over here so here i have the sum of sales and over here you can see i have the dimension and i have the measure so let me open up the dimension and over here you can see the limitation drop down right now the value is no limitation that's why you are seeing all of the value right but if i let's say click on this drop down and let's say i want to say fixed number then you can see the two fields top and bottom is now appearing in front of me i can say top 10 and even i have the flexibility to specify any expression but for now i will just press the or enter the top 10 let's say i want top 15 right so now the top 15 values are coming but along with that you can see this bar chart which is coming it's nothing but the others that means the total of rest of the other values and uh, we can uncheck from here that whether we want to show the others or not so let's uncheck that and now the values are coming properly similarly apart from, uh, similarly uh, top uh, you have the bottom option so bottom 15 values so you can clearly see what are those uh, product names in which are actually at the bottom and what are their respective values right so you have both top and bottom after that uh, you have the exact value so you get couple of options so with exact value greater than or equal to let's say i will say for example um 200k in this case so 200000 so i will get only these values if i say let's say 150000 then i get just one more value let's say if i get if i'm entering 100000 which is in Indian currency, one lakh rupees, then you will get this value. So greater than equal to is little different than greater than because it has the equal to sign. So if I click over here, you see there is nothing much of a difference, but if there would be any value which is of 100,000 that it would have been excluded. Similarly, I can press less than, but as you can see, less than has a lot of value. So maybe I can say, uh, product sales which is less than 1000 still there are a lot of values so you can you can basically enter the right criteria but this is how you can enter the criteria after that uh, exact value you have the relative value so in that case uh, product sales uh, sales number which is greater than three percent of the rest of the number of sales which basically accumulates to three percent of the rest of the um products so i'm just trying to enter three but i think it is still large so what i'll do is i will just say one percent and we get these values if i let's say say 0.8 percent i get a couple of other values so what it is basically indicating that uh, the the sales for these products are basically greater than or equals to 0.8 percent as compared to the rest of the other products and similarly uh, greater than equal to you have greater than less than and less than equal to if you want you can even show the others so that's how you can basically control your bar chart for not showing hundreds of values like product name or the customer name or any other field which is having a lot of values you can reduce it by providing the appropriate limitation value based on your business needs so that's pretty much it now i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic